Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to West of Loathing, where we are about to start investigating the military cemetery. Oh, oh. let's not hit that button. We get another shovel? We don't really need a shovel, do we? we think we have a shovel? Well, either way, we can't take it. Coffins that we can't interact with. Caretaker Shanty. You poke around in the shed, the caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while. Judging by the dust and cobwebs, looks like the mayor was right about him. Looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're going to have to fetch him back here to do his job. Okay, where is he? Look at the tools. Well, tool. Singular. There's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, I thought we did. You leave it alone, it's not like you'll be able to dig twice as fast. How do you know? Maybe I can ambidextrous that thing. Uh, continue to poke around under the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Gross. Uh, the desk. Covered with old paint splattered newspapers and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint as well as a jar of fine tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Curious. Um, well, this is the last thing if we're going to find out where he is unless the clue's elsewhere. Uh, flyers tacked to the wall. Uh... For Military Reenactment Enthusiast Society. Oh, so he's one of those guys down at Fort Memoriam. Alright, interesting. Uh, leave. Okay, well, what is the eternal flame? Well, I, I guess that's the eternal flame? With the a goblin roasting a hot dog slash dug there? Hope you didn't invest in a hedge fund, because these are now just a pointy, worthless mess. Okay. Uh, hello? Caution. Do not touch eternal flame. But what if I can't resist? Is this burning an eternal flame? Uh, it says yes, but I don't think so. I'm not going to touch it. The goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, it's a good fire not to waste it yet. Do we fight him? Uh, we don't have the goblin tongue option, so sure? Well, he's got a bunch of them now. I kind of feel bad about doing this. He's just cook He's not actually touching the flame. He's just cooking some food. I feel dirty. Goblin Bratwurst, which we will definitely not eat. Well, maybe we would. Plus 10 Muscle, minus 5 Moxie. That might be something we want to use at some point. Is there any use in doing anything with the flame? All right, might as well explore the rest of this place while we're here. Isn't that misspelled? Isn't it three E's and no A's? Oh, I guess so. An embarrassing typo. Sure. Beyond this gate stand countless rows and columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them and there are 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot by number if you like. Okay, now I remember. They gave us 420 at the hippie place. 420 is completely overgrown with mushrooms. You root around in the loose shroomage and find a book. Coincidentally, it's a book about mushrooms. Mycology. Your ecology. I think we already had that. Didn't we? Read it? Yeah, we're already well versed, so I guess we just hold on to it or sell it. Can we check other plots? Is that even relevant? Maybe... Maybe specific numbers that have some societal meaning, like... Seven? Uh, Corporal Maxi Holcomb, Beanslinger Division. You hear rattling and scratching coming from beneath the tombstone. Uh, dig it up. Okay, I guess we just fight. Not that I would actually call that a fight. We got loose teeth. I think we still need some gold teeth, don't we? Might have to go somewhere and uh, farm some more skeletons. Of course, I guess we could do that here, theoretically. Um, let's see, relevant numbers, relevant numbers. Uh, 666. Dangerously advanced next max. Next to the tombstone, you find a pedestal with a leather-bound book on top of it. Looks evil. You better grab it before somebody else does. 
since we're not reading this, I wonder if there's anything we can uh, actually do with them otherwise. Maybe just sell them? Gives you the Dark Audi skill, whatever that is. Uh, stop looting graves? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I want to try some more plots. Thank you very much. Um, uh, sure, let's do 69. Uh, approach the grave. It reads, First Lieutenant Seth Whitney Jr., 69th Innuendo Division. Okay. Doesn't bear any of the telltale marks of necromantic invasion, or interference, rather. Dig it up. Military grade whiskey and chemical bullets. Sure. Are there any other super relevant numbers I can think of off the top of my head? I guess three? Uh, it's quiet? Ground here is rocky and it's pretty hard on your shovel. You make it down to the coffin and find a lockbox. This soldier must have had no next of kin. Sad. Army lockbox. Set of personal effects buried with the soldier whose personal effects they were. Uh, okay. What can we do with that? Maybe that's for another quest at some point? Uh, let's try number one. Uh, Philomenia Dela Cruz. Chief Medic? A lot of noise. More than one skeleton? No, just one. Well, let's beat it down. Not even bothering to beef up at this point. Here we go. More loose teeth and things. Alice is getting some information from this, though. And I accidentally left again. Um, 40? See, it's a significant number in, in Christian mythology. Uh, it's quiet. Grave dirt and skeleton? That reminds me, there's a ritual we need to go perform. Let's stop looting graves. Let's, um... Where was that ritual that we could do? It was early on, wasn't it? Uh, the Dave Yard, maybe? We also need to go to Fort Memoriam, but since I remembered this so I don't get distracted and forget, we've got that glass sphere now. Uh, I think it's in this mausoleum over here. There was a, a symbol or something we could use. See, we could farm skeletons there. Uh, yeah. Perform the ritual. I think we have everything. Hmm, let's see. According to that gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a glass sphere if you want to do this ritual. You're pretty sure you don't have any stardust. You would probably remember that. Okay, so there is an ingredient we're missing. Well, at least we didn't get ambushed on the way here, so... Uh, as close as we are, we ought to just head to Dirtwater and use that post office key as well. More supplies. Smelling salts. Chest full of metals. Nine moxie. Cool. If we were a gunslinger. Let's see. We also need to look at that, uh... Lockbox. Oh, we can open it in our inventory. Okay. True to its name, it's locked. Consumes a needle. Military grade whiskey and incendiary bullet. How many needles have we got? Uh, let's do alphabetical and look down through here. We've been using quite a bit of them here recently without actually getting any more. I mean, we had a large supply to be, yeah, we still have a large supply, 14. That's, that's more than enough to be not worrying about, I guess. Post office, can we just open this? Yep, open box 114. Fort Treason Ballistics Chart. It's a chart for army guys that explains how to more effectively destroy things from a distance. Hmm. Can we read it in our uh, inventory? Chart full of details on the precision firing of a demi culver and artillery cannon. You know what? I bet that cannon could blow the vault door at a little. Excuse me. At Alexandria Ranch Open, if you could figure out a way to target it. Good idea. It's what I figured. So we'll be doing that. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead. And... Well, let's do Fort Memoriam first. And then we can head back up there and hit the ranch and things along the way. Or the, the fort, I guess. You find a poor lost crate. And got some depressed rancher candy. Okay. Uh, Fort Memoriam. Let's see if the caretaker's in here. Which one would he be? Not many people walk around in a cow hat in this day and age. 
Uh, hey, Melvin. Moo. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Nope, I think Jeff said something about having a day job. It hasn't been that day for like two weeks, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Goodbye. Which one is Jeff? Uh, this is Mike. Hey, Jeff. Heard you're the cemetery caretaker. Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Nah, nuts. Alright, alright. Well, look. I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll go back once it's over, okay? Uh... No, I... I well, we could intimidate. We already broke his winning streak. Um... Let's intimidate him. We've got the skill. No. Look, dude, this is your job we're talking about. Take some responsibility and go do your job if you want to keep it. Nah, come on. Sorry to hassle you, but this is important. You gotta keep those soldiers in their holes. Alright, fine. Guys, my dad says I have to go. Uh, he leaves with a dramatic eye roll and the other nerds snicker. Good. Sorry to be so harsh. But, you know, things got to be taken care of. Uh, we actually need to go to the ranch first, don't we? Because we gotta drop that smoke, I think. Oh, El Vibrato, curious of abandoned well. Aw. Uh, sure, let's stop and investigate. It is on the way. Luckily, it didn't send us downward. Curious abandoned well. Uh, the transponder goes ape as we approach it. Uh, climb down with our rope. Uh, shockweed plant? Is that new spell damage? See what's in here. More El Vibrato technology? Words we can't understand? Five buttons. Um. Uh, right. Uh huh. Maybe that's a control for this one to teleport us different places? We're in yet another place. A single button. A non? Seven buttons now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, one? Terminal emits a harsh buzz. They disappear and original one appears. Press it. So is this trial and error, or is there something that would tell us how to do this? Seems like it's we gotta push these in a certain order. Uh, leave? What's this? Bunch of paper cards. More punch cards? They're full of holes. Yeah, that's a we got a lot of those things. No buttons, but a very thin slot underneath the screen. Oh, we can use our punch cards here. Okay. You insert the card into the slot. The machine screen springs into frenzied activity. You can't consciously make sense of what you're watching, but when it's over, you know things you didn't know before. Oh, we learn El Vibrato words. System footwear and online. Whoa. We got a ton of these. Let's just feed them all in there. Just... Maybe we'll learn the whole language with as many as we've got so far. Not gonna bother to see what each one gives us. We'll just go until we run out. Still got a bunch of small ones left. We got a bunch of large ones too, to be honest. Jeez, how many did we have? Okay, we're out of small ones. We're on to the large ones now. I guess the large ones do more complex words. Sustenance and fabrication. Extraterrestrial. Seductive? Ooh, we got an achievement. Kuspa Hoppa. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that it? Are we out of them? Alright, can we now read things? Uh, we still don't know that word. Um. Do it again? Oh, okay. A uh, third one? Original one appears. Um, let's leave this for now. Maybe we need to get some more cards. Can we read any of this? Current? Something destination? Education facility. So we have learned quite a bit. Select destination. It is a selector for this teleporter. So we were in the education facility. Drone fabrication? 
Is that where we farm parts at? No, this is new. Big button on a little pedestal. Floating construct appears. Drone fabrication online. Can we fight it? Looks like. We get anything different for this one? It's just like between me and Alice, we we got this. More scraps and a and a straight up keystone. No punch cards though. Can we get punch cards here? I know we can occasionally at the place in um one of the mines on the west side, the Dutch oven mine maybe. Oh, there's two now. So this one gets more as as we go on too. Um. Yeah, well, no, no need to even beef up, I don't think. We'll just beat it down. That looks like a keystone itself, now that I think about it. More scraps. Let's do one more, see if it goes up to three. And it does. So maybe we do want to beef up just to protect our HP and then do a bunch of stomps. That might be more effective with this many going on. Oh... One of them's healing. Was this the one that was healing? Probably the one with the higher mysticality. Well, let's go ahead and knock it out then. Keep it from healing its friends. Yeah, that was the one that was healing. Uh, let's go ahead and attack that. And we'll finish this off. Real quick. Cool. Keystone and scraps. All right, I'm going to fight a few more, see how high this goes, and then we'll head on. Oh, well, looks like we did get a punch card this time, so there is a chance of it. Nice to get the keystones, too, so we don't have to spend our scraps on that. Huh. Well, there were four that time. I know at the other place, five's the max, but it looks like there could be seven here, since this one takes up three slots I think maybe it doesn't let's see mysticality we need to kill that one then I think we can just uh, stomp and shoot the rest of it out get this done fairly quickly most of these can't hit us only the ones using range because our moxie isn't quite as high as our muscle more punch cards Ooh, another one. Complicated punch card. I do suspect that it will go up again. And yes, it does. So we can get seven here, it seems. All right. Well, I'll see you guys again in a bit. I'm just going to keep fighting just for a little while. All right. It looks like actually we never get above six. So, I mean, that's fine. We haven't gotten any more punch cards unless we get some during this fight. We'll go back and use those two punch cards and then continue our exploration of this teleportation facility. I'm not sure whether it's teleporting us to other places that exist on the map or if this is just a hub that's taking us to places that we can only get to through this particular place. I suppose we'll find out as we keep going on. But, I mean, that was some good... Oh, we got another punch card. Cool. That was some good experience there. Got over a thousand again. Let's see. What do we want to raise? Let's see. Haymaker... Uh, does... Base damage 10 and disables an enemy? Alright, let's, let's raise that. Menacing Moo lowers muscle. I just don't know that we'll ever need that. Let's go ahead and raise Haymaker again. Uh, we got everything except for Menacing Moo. If we do the old one, two, three, we'll have all of these skills at least at three. And Menacing Moo's just not a priority for me. So let's head back. Let's see, what else was there? Equipment fabrication. Okay. Right. Okay. Ooh, we got a battery. Uh, gain an effect. Energized. Sweet! You're chock full of El Vibrato energy, and you feel like you could take on the whole world. Sweet. Uh, hello? Equipment fabrication. 
Bracelet or brooch? The machine emits a noise like a duck and a slot opens. The El Vibrato scraps in your pack vibrate so you cram some of them in the hole. After five, the slot closes and reopens, having converted your garbage into jewelry. Makes El Vibrato encounters much more likely. I don't know how necessary that is. What is the brooch? Uh, another five? For plus 11 armor. I mean, sure. Not really something I'm looking for either, but I'm glad we got it. So none of these places have been places we visited before, so that lends to uh, the side that says that this is a facility that just takes us different places that we can't get to otherwise. Uh, secondary storage. Though I guess it's too early to be making any uh, actual conjectures. Uh, broken machinery. More scraps, okay. Luckily, we've been getting a bunch of keystones. Oh, fluid and a battery. A uh, battery and seltzer? That's new. Oh, this is something we, we can eat. A uh, muscle, mysticality, and moxie by five, and maximum AP by two. That's neat. A weird device. Take it. Whining El Vibrato object. Dome-shaped El Vibrato machine of unknown purpose, unless its purpose is to make an incessant whining noise, in which case its purpose is both known and very annoying. Ah, so the professor would be interested in this. I guess that means he's not interested in the fluid since it doesn't say that. So we do need to make a trip over there. There's a lot of different uh, lines to do in this game. It's kind of hard to keep them all straight in my mind. Um, auditory nuisance containment? For things that make noises you don't like to send to get rid of forever maybe hmm, music going on this thing is just bopping uh, select nuisance destination press it okay I don't know any of these words it's a music thing, so if we're going to send it somewhere, I'd like to send it to Dirtwater, but it looks like I have to make a choice. Oh, darn it. There's no just exit. Uh, South Poo Poo, because it sounds funny. Uh, seven different but very similar buttons? I'll just keep sending it to all the Poo Poo. <laughs> Okay, detected south destination adjustment Stasta, east destination adjustment Nichibu. Okay, yep. Uh, probably need to learn some more words. Uh, which reminds me, we've got those cards, so we need to go back to the education facility and go ahead and plug them in since we're here anyway. See what we learn. Uh, oh. Nothing else to learn from the simple cards, okay. But from the complex cards we can. Quick gate, personnel, and corruption. Okay. Decloaker and insufficient. Huh. Wonder how many more words there are to learn. Can these cards make us actually completely fluent in this language? Nothing else really to do there unless we wanted to grind some more of those things. Which is probably where we would grind if we wanted to, since they give more experience than the one on the uh, east side of the mountains there. Let's see. Could go on to Military Cemetery and do that. However, I'm very interested in this uh, vault here at the Alexandria. Oh, hello, Wandering Sally. I just mentioned that not too long ago we hadn't seen you in a while. Do you happen to have any books? Uh, you got soap. Let's go ahead and buy some binoculars so that we can climb up and get a new place, I guess. Not a bad investment at this point. Work boots? Uh, no, not interested. We do have some stuff to sell, though, so let's do that. All these meat nuggets. And that looks like about all that we want to get rid of, so goodbye, Sally. Thanks for stopping by and visiting again. And we'll continue on to the ranch. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Okay. Can we mark this? We can. Place the targeting flare. There we go. I figured that's what that was for. Head back to the fort. You hear the crack of a rifle, and a lead bee buzzes past your ear. 
I call bullets lead bees sometime. Okay, good to know. Off in the distance, you see a skeleton with a rifle. It looks like he's lining up another shot. Intimidate him. You stupid skeleton, you suck. I bet you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Deeply offended, the skeleton leaves to find a barn and prove you wrong. Okay, that's a real old joke, but I'll take it. Okay, can we do this thing? You peer through the rangefinder at the distant smoke of your targeting flare. You consult the ballistics chart and turn the little knobs, cranks, and stuff to the appropriate places. You root around in your pack and find a match. Light it up. Boom. If that didn't open that vault door, then those grapes are probably sour anyway. Uh-huh. Thank you, Aesop. You hear the crackle of a north-southwestern lightning snake. Too bad you don't have a forked lightning rod with you. Wait. That wouldn't work at all, would it? Uh, no, but maybe we can get a decent snake skin. Have we already got a skin from one of these? Electric snake skin? Spell damage. I think we had one of those. We're not interested in spell damage. Let's see. This thing. Ah, it's completely gone. From what I remember, there are tons of good books down here, apparently. Books and books and books. Percussive maintenance. Full of tips and tricks about the ancient art of fixing machines by hitting them really hard. Ooh, cool. I have that skill in real life. <laughs> Read it. You quickly memorize the entire book. You got percussive maintenance. Sweet, maybe that'll come in useful. Time to get smacking. When you're done reading it, you notice that the book's spine is cracked. You try to fix it by hitting it really hard, but you end up just smashing the book to powder. Oops. Uh, more books. Advanced cow punching. Don't really need that anymore. It'll give us some experience, though, I think. Uh, how to cheat at poker. Ooh, cheating is part of the game of poker, but getting caught doing it is still disadvantageous. This book purports to turn your cheating into sneaky cheating. Dirty poker. I'm interested in that. This locked case contains a book labeled Gold Medal Silversmithing. Uh, yes please. This book written by expert jeweler Dabney Bronze details advanced techniques in melding silver things and turning them into other silver things. Well, we, we know a place we can do that. Rich Vein, Poor Vein. A copy of a popular fictional advice book from a few years ago. It's rare now because of various crusades to destroy every copy of it. Okay. Uh, greatest love poem ever written. The dust jacket of this book is missing, so I can't tell you who, who wrote it. All right, that's worth a ton. Uh, read it? The love poem is so good you're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. Okay. Yeah. You quickly memorize the entire book. Vain glorious. You know how to get a lot more meat out of veins. Sweet. I'll take that for sure. Unfortunately, the book was so old and crumbly that reading it once caused it to be destroyed. So, so much for literary preservation. Yeah, we're not real good at that at all. Uh, silversmithing. Thank you very much. Expert silversmithing. Everybody out west can silversmith a little, but you, you can do it a lot. After you finish reading it, you absentmindedly drop it in a nearby mailbox and are unable to retrieve it. Happy birthday, Mr. Postman. Uh, how to cheat, please? Dirty poker. Learn how to cheat at the weird variant of poker they play in these parts. You will almost certainly get caught. Okay, probably have to level that up. So as to conceal the evidence of your dirty dealings, you eat the book. Right, let's hit the tables. Eventually. Let's get some experience. Yep. Thanks very much, and then tear the book in half. And I think that that's going to do it for this episode. I promise, promise, promise that we will get to the military cemetery and finish out this quest right the first thing in the next video. But we've got a lot of stuff on our plate still. Especially with the dirty poker and the silversmithing and stuff. I want to see what we can do with that. 
but we will just keep plugging on ahead and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Teveron and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.